Sherry Beyond Your Mom. And of course, uh, before he begins with his talk, I'd like to thank our sponsors, CompuMatrix and Unilab, for making iBlock 13 uh, possible for all of us. And of course, if you have questions after his talk, uh, please proceed to the microphone area and ask your question. Uh, Jay, is that called you come or you want to walk around? What, what's your plan? So let's give uh, Jay a warm applause again. Yeah, I guess this is Ayla. So, Ayla, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Louder, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, uh, this, uh, I've been here since iBlog 7, and I would like to thank the uh, iBlog team the Beauty College of Law and Senatoral for giving me another opportunity uh, to speak with all of you here sa iBlog 13. iBlog 9, I spoke uh, before about sa, uh, how to avoid information that the si DLDR. Uh, that was about the uh, posting PRs, stop posting PRs, the copy paste, the basic interior own needs. So that goes with the topic that I followed. Kanina, thank you, Justine for pointing that out. Right, so, um, okay, before I begin, let me inform you that uh, I'm going to do an experiment, and this is in progress. Whatever that I will say here, in the next few weeks, this will be an experiment, I will do it myself. So, uh, actually, you found learning to do and I am really happy to share this with everyone. My name is Jay Agonoy, and I am a, uh, uh, by day, I'm an events staff uh, in Capitolio Pasi. And by night, I watch anime, and uh, by weekends, I blog at my website, it's Keep Shakes, Jay Agonoy, the next YZ. So, okay, uh, I actually, this time, I actually uh, prepared a script here, but at least my big guy goes to it so just bear with me. So, um, may mga na-mention ako dito mga brands earlier on, and I, um, not necessarily endorsements, but uh, uh, we get the point now. So, uh, I would like to ask, sino dito yung mga bagong vloggers pa lang? Yung those who just made a vlog in the past, okay, there we go, in the past few months, two months, three months, four months, five months, six months, okay, there we go. So, um, tanoy ko kayo, ladies, would you like to be an influencer? Yes, yes. yes. Louder? Yes. Alright, good. Because um, uh, my topic is sharing your content beyond your blog. And I'm catering this to those who have just built a blog, who would like to influence everyone, but they only have the blog as a medium. So this goes hand in hand with the previous topics that has been mentioned earlier. So, yun, uh, the, okay, let's proceed. Yun. This is the person in question, as, uh, which, uh, kung ano yung sinabi ko kanina. You're new in the blogging industry, you want to have uh, attraction sa blog mo, and uh, at, 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 at this time, hindi mo pa alam yung affiliate marketing or you don't want to participate in affiliate marketing yet. So, how, um, uh, how will I share my content beyond my blog? So, of course, data, 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 and data, lots of data yan. We are uh, lucky actually to uh, live and see through our eyes that uh, the blogging has taken a huge form, not just in ourselves, not just in this community, but also in society. So much that we actually have fake news and satirizing. So what's news and all that stuff. So, uh, you have a goal of being a thought leader or an expert amidst this very, very big community. Of course, hanapin mo yung niche mo, that's number one. And uh, if you only have a blog as a medium, you are missing out on the opportunity to get attention. So, let's focus on these pointers. Scope and niche, that's the first part. Demographics ng uh, audience mo, that's the second part. Where the people go to check out uh, their info. How do they consume the information that they receive? How do they respond to the information? And are there any platforms related to the niche that we are going to talk about? So, uh, to the next slide. Uh, this is important. First, 
I have my set of topics. I have my mind map of topics. So on my blog, jagorey.xyz, I talk about events, anime cosplay events, my perhaps a bits and pieces of my personal life, and the word cosplay in the Philippines. Since yun yung uh, pang I take it as an advocacy to promote the WCS, and I, I I already have a dedicated section there. So I'm aiming the aside from uh, being a personal blog, a personal blogger, uh, events blogger, I'm aiming to get the topic of WCS. So maging authority ako to on So I'm aiming for that, and I hope you take into consideration yung mga niche topics niyo, and you pick at least one or two of those topics na you will be aiming for authority. So, for example, si Sabis Pinay, personal finance. Si Border Collective, internship, careers. Careers student. So, iba-iba nga niche natin. So, dun, at least dun makikilala yung kung sino ka, or the, how would you like the people to know you. There are two ways to know your readership. So, you contact a radio survey, or you research your own data. So, uh, some of the important uh, questions to ask your audience. Of course, before that, uh, no? Ayan, okay. Am I loud enough? Yeah, medyo... Okay, it's it. Thanks. So, yun, we have here a sample, just a sample of graphics. So, makikita nito sa Google Analytics, sa Facebook Analytics, Facebook Insights. Of course, you'll have to learn each and one of them. Pero pinaka-basic dito is you have to know uh, your kung uh, kung uh, uh, gano'n yung male and female audience mo, yung age ng audience mo, and how did they consume their info. So for example, in sa mulika that I uh, just generated, uh, mas maraming mga lalaki na tumitingin sa website ko or sa Facebook page ko, and uh, mostly they are uh, in the 18 to 21 uh, bracket. So, doon yung target audience ko. And how do I get to know? Ayan, okay, I just said pointer. Uh, so, in this one, sample of audience demographics. So, kung sample mo, mas mahilig magpasa, you go for it. Pero kung ang um, kababayan, mahilig uh, manood ng video, for say YouTube, Facebook Live, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff, you aim for that. So these are the two options that you have in order to gain traction. So, uh, of course, uh, hindi may iwasang pag-usapan about the uh, blogs is the reactions because, of course, you really want to uh, gain traction. Of course, you have to open your window to reactions. So, uh, Yung blog comments niyo, of course. Some of them are just plain full of cancerous stuff. Pero, that's true, right? Sino dito ang uh, na, ano, nagmanis na ng comment section na sobang gulo, taas ang kamay? There we go, there we go, there we go. And sino pa dito, on this end? Okay, napakahirap mag-manage ng, uh, to be honest, napakahirap mag-manage ng uh, Reader comments, especially if they're aiming to read really piss you off. <laughs> Pero, um, of course, blog comments, uh, comment section on Facebook and Reddit, tweets on Twitter. These are the reactions that you will have to observe in these uh, in in these places. These are the places where you can see people talk about you. So, for example, ilalagay mo lang yung URL ng latest blog post mo sa Twitter search, makikita mo na kung siya yung share Or, say sa Facebook, you can use the Facebook API debugger, you check how many shares na yun. So, may indicator sila, although hindi in-specify kung siya naman nag-share. Uh, for example, 24 shares sa Facebook debugger. Uh, and uh, Reddit na rin, of course. Reddit is uh, considered a bookmarking tool na rin. But it's much more common because it also has a discussion for everyone. So, kung nag-post kayo sa Reddit and then na-viral naman yung uh, topic ninyo, if they will like it, they will really, uh, really react to it and give you Reddit call for that. So, 
for starters, you need to have someone at your content or else you will not know if they are, uh, they are actually getting your attention. That's that too. So, uh, after reactions, you'll have to look at the video or audio. Yun nga, kanina, di ba? Pinakita ko sinyo. Isang sample lang yun. Uh, it, may be, uh, it may be different to everyone here. So, you'll have to get a reader survey. And you'll have to ask your readers. You'll have to research your readers as you proceed. So, vlogs or any video content in particular. Uh, uh, let me tell you a story about uh, my experience in Toycon since uh, the disclaimer and I'm a staff there. So, we had a major stage. And dami pumunta mga YouTube vloggers. So, makikita mo, video is the future of content. People are getting lazier and lazier to read. They just want to see, they want to listen. That's a, that's, that's a thing. So, for uh, if you, if, uh, if, these are the two options, video or audio. It's vlogs or podcasts. So, podcasts. Okay, who has a podcast here? Sino po may podcast dito? There's one, there's two, I believe. Dito si, uh, I believe, uh, I checked say it's been nice website and uh, may magkakarapin ng podcast naman, correct? Okay, so, yun. Pero, in the case of my experience, uh, yung mga video creators to, nandun sila, they have a uh, specific group, YouTube Vloggers Philippines, uh, Adobe Studios, uh, so on and so forth. Pero, either way, May mga group po tayong mga vloggers. So in short, aside from vlogging, vlogging is also becoming a thing. Marami na nag vlog and ako din ako book na din ako sa pag-vlog. So while at the I uh, while I vlog, I oh, will also make a vlog of my experience here. So at least kung kung uh, hindi ko nabanggit sa inyo, kagaya na ng mention ni uh, Justine, if I can mention it to you in words, I will show it to you in video. So, that is unique and that is authentic. So, yeah. Okay, we will proceed to the next. Okay. I will give you a set of examples on how you can share your content further. Sino po dito ang food reviewer? Tasa kamay. Sino po dito food blogger? There's one, two. Three. Okay. Sino dito yung tech blogger? One. Okay, tech blogger. Fashion bloggers. Anyone? One. Okay. To give you an idea, there are lots of platforms. Sports? Yes. Of course, hindi pwede hindi kita mapansin. Of course, there are lots of spaces for you to share your content. No? Hindi lang natin napapansin. Kasi yung uh, mostly common natin ngayon, Excuse me. Is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and for professionals, like it. So, uh, ito na isa kita mo sa mga apat na segments na ito. That we have uh, on the food, we have Lulu and uh, I believe this food pan. Uh, no, not food pan. Uh, Lulu and I think it's here. Ayun. So. There are review blogs, such uh, where you can place your own reviews. Zomato, yes, yon. Zomato, who uses Zomato here? There we go, yon. So that's one way of sharing your content. Although you'll have to replace it, of course. So sa passion naman, who uses Polygor here? Polygor, Polygor. Have you shared your styles in Polygor? Okay, that's one way of sharing your content as well. If you want to share your fashion statement, go to Polyboard. Also, Lookbook and all uh, others. Tech. For the tech naman, ang pinaka-common, ang according to my friends, is YouTube pa rin. YouTube and you can tech and all that readers comment section. You can interact with them. You can share your stuff with them. Um, although, uh, as for my research, I haven't found any uh, site na magpapabay talaga ng reviews for tech. I believe uh, you can check out The Verge and you know, all the top tech sites. You can uh, voice your opinions there in the comment section. Politics! Sino dito ang nakaka-observe sa Reddit? Reddit, uh, uh, yes. Have you, have you seen Reddit uh, in politics that are Philippines? No, not yet. Not yet. 
Kasi uh, I've been told na yung R Philippines uh, or any red and subreddit that uh, it also has uh, topics on politics as well. You should check it check it out if you really have to prove your point. You go share your views because it's it will depend on who the download to upload. Okay, Facebook, naman as well, of course, for politics. Yeah, for political bloggers, of course, very viral, very very viral. So, uh, as a bonus, who uh, anyone here who is into anime? One, two, three. Here from this end. Okay, there's my anime list, there's Kitsu, and there's Anime Planet. You can share your views there, you can rate an uh, anime series. There's this case of a blogger named ScamOfTheCardDriver.com who has transitioned from being a uh, blogger to become an interviewer at my anime list. So, uh, at least don't my audience siya, kasi my anime list has an audience big enough. As in... As, as if you're not uh, uh, if you're not watching anime, uh, if uh, you you may not know my anime list. But if you're watching anime and you need to track all your stuff, you go to my anime list, register an account, and uh, record your log of anime there. Guides kids on anime planet, so on and so forth. Okay, so so to conclude, so far naman um, and uh, may natutunan naman kayo, yes, yes, good. Okay, so to, uh, to conclude, data and analytics are important and you will need time and patience to retrieve the data, to get the data in order for, uh, to, for you to serve your audience better. So, of course, you have to think of your readers, especially if you are extending your content to them. Sa akin, ang uh, ginagawa ko ngayon, uh, while I'm doing a vlog, I'm also updating everyone to videos sa Facebook page ko. I'm telling them that, that I'm here at iBlog13 and everyone should be here as well. So that's one way. Of course, let's talk about responsibility and vigilance. Because of course, uh, uh, yeah, uh, if you are aiming to establish uh, yourself, if you are aiming to attract more people to know or learn from you, you have to establish yourself because of uh, of everything that's happening. There's a lot of noise in this community. You have to stand out. How to stand out? You have to share beyond your medium. Your responsibility, aside from proper conduct, is honesty. Be honest with yourself. So, uh, para if you can continue vlogging to the long run, you can. Be honest right now. You have to ask yourself, kaya mo pa bang mag-vlog in the long run? Long term. Kasi, Long term ang pag-build ng credibility. Long term ang pag-build ng identity nyo online. And coming back from my roots, I'm starting back from square one. It will be a struggle for me, pero I'm enjoying it because I've been vlogging before and I'm enjoying vlogging before. Long before. So, we need to take into our minds that by sharing our stories, we are sharing our stories to our audience, inspiring them to either agree or disagree with you, or even share their own stories to you. So, we need to take that in mind. Also, we need to take into, uh, into ourselves these questions as we take a look at each website or blog that we will talk about. Is this content too good to be too? Is the design familiar to us? Familiar to everyone. So, for example, you, if you're using that, div, uh, who, who's using here the word pristine called newspaper by that div? There we go. Yeah, familiar yet. So, uh, that's one thing. You need to consider the content. Baka naman uh, kung saan pinulog, wala bang source. Kailangan may source yan. Of course, you'll have to look at the source to verify na hindi yung confirmation bias. And uh, one, okay, let me check here. Of course, you'll have to look at the uh, blogger kung, sa, kung saan makukunin yung source or kung saan makukunin yung source, no? For example, si Blog X ay nagsishare ng content about politics na uh, uh, pro-government and ang manner niya is mabilis uh, na mag-share. You'll have to take note of that, pa kung ano na yung nasasabi niya. And then, look, you also take a look at the reviews, kung katiwatiwala ba yung mga pinaga comment nila. In that way, you will check if the source that you will get is too good to be true, or 
Baka kung ano na yan, mama kuryente ka. If they don't have a face or a real name to show, it's easy to doubt. It's okay to doubt. And if you doubt, check again. If you found out that um, objectively na, na, na share sila ng mga fake news, hoax stories, and uh, alternative truths, you have the control to unfollow them, to unlike them, and to get rid of them in your news feed. Kasi, pag pinatagal mo pa yan, well, just, uh, you will read it in the news feed, baka makuryente ka rin. Lastly, Thank you for coming to iBlog to learn about responsible blogging and social media vigilance and also to learn about the blogging uh, in general and to connect with your fellow bloggers. There are a lot of discussions ahead of uh, mine today, like what happened earlier. So take this time to open your mind and just absorb everything. So as you go back home and look at your blog, you can assess what you need to keep, what not to keep, what to do, and what not to do. Remember, don't stick to posting on just your blog. There are lots of platforms available. Put your content in multiple platforms. With that, I'm Jay, and here's my contact details. But now, I'm opening the floor to questions. Okay, if you have questions, can you go to the microphone and ask your question? Go ahead. Hi, introduce yourself. Uh, hi, I'm Erin. Hi, J. Uh, hi, Sir J. Um, I am a uh, uh, three years I've been blogging. Um, kaso parang hindi ko pa alam ko ano talaga yung niche ko. So ngayon alam ko na kung gusto ko and ang goal ko is to be a female geek blogger. So, um, ang uh, napapansin ko kasi, I'm not sure, baka ako lang to, pero napapansin ko, most of the geek bloggers are males. Mm -hmm. So, I want to be um, one of the few female geek bloggers. I'm really, I'm a geek talaga. So, gusto ko ma, ano, ma, 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 yun ang, dun ako ma, yun ang goal ko. So, ano ma-advise mo for someone, taalang po, geek din po kayo. So, ano ma-advise mo for, for me na gusto mong mag-go dun sa, Actually, more on geek and cosplay po ang ginagawa ko na. Ngayon, so far na, uh, sinusulat. Okay, for the geek, uh, for the geek one, kasi geek blogging is uh, broad. Kumbaga, there's cosplay, anime, games, hobbies, collectibles, toys. So, um, ano yung pinaka maraming, uh, of course, there are topics na si share niyo no for example mas ma share ba kayo sa mga cosplay photos mas ma share ba kayo sa toys mga toy collections mas ma share ba kayo sa mga indie games mga board games you have your own mind ba you you need you need mind ba as a start so if all of these are yes or all of uh, the answers are yes you have your own mind map na and then you pick one of them to establish yourself kung hindi ka pa establish to cosplay you can establish also to cosplay interviews. That's what happened to arcadimac.com. Na they interview cosplayers and then um, for of course uh, that's true. Male geek bloggers like the Raymond Files, and Gita Page, Unbox, Fanboy SEO, Fanboy SEO, yes. si, si Papi Earl. Yes, <laughs> it's Papi Earl. So um, yun nga, as I mentioned, but yun, you need to take a look at them and then you need to take a look at your, uh, your own blog. You have to compare kung saan ka lalaman. And that's where your uniqueness will come. Thank you, po. Thank you, thank you. Okay, next question. Alright. Any other questions? Okay, if not, let's give our speaker a warm applause. Thank you very much. And again, uh, here's the contact details. Pero wala. <laughs> Pero okay lang yan. Uh, jagonoy.xyz and also uh, do me a favor follow me on twitter now jagonoy thank you very much <laughs>